know what I'm saying? And if I'm making song about what I want to make songs about, if I'm talking, I don't like nobody trying to belittle me. You know what I'm saying? Especially if I'm recording off a fucking phone app. Y'all niggas in professional motherfucking studios. And y'all done had plenty of time to sit down and work on the album. I don't have no time to sit down and work on no fucking album. I don't got time for that shit. I don't even got time to write a verse no fucking more because of all the bullshit that's going on. I don't got no time to write a fucking verse. These motherfuckers got time to go to the studio, write a whole album, do it. I don't got time for that shit. And then... I'm very talented. Like, I can, I go back and listen to this one, a white woman. This one white woman. She she came up to me. And we was in the neighborhood. And I told the lady in the vision, I said, they calling me the greatest of all time. And a white lady, was, all the white lady was looking at me. And, no, I said, they calling me the GOAT. They calling me to go. And I was in the vision and I said, but I can't explain to you what it what all that mean right now. I can't explain to you what all that mean right now for people to be calling me to go. And then so when I woke up, like well, in the vision it was something about some mulatto girls and Lamarcus Sanders trying to make me feel bad about some mulatto girl and cause I'm brown skinned. And I remember waking up and I was like in the vision, I said, they calling me the GOAT. And then I, I was looking up. Okay, I know what the GOAT means. The greatest of all time. So, I know a lot of people are like, oh, man, they be crazy. The motherfucker, she wacky for a lot of You can't tell me shit. Because when I listen to my music, that's all I listen to. I walk down the street. I got a few artists that I like to listen to every now and then. But when I really go deep into my lyrics and I just listen to the song over and over and over again, I'm walking up and down the street and I'm feeling my struggle and everything, I started listening. I was like, why would somebody call me the greatest of all time? And as I started listening to it, like the song Me Making Love, and I hear my voice and how my voice can fluctuate naturally like that. And then when I was hearing what I was saying in my lyrics and my delivery and how real it was, I was like, I really am the greatest of all time. So ain't shit no nigga can tell me. You know what I'm saying? And really I ain't trying to do nothing for free. You know, I ain't trying to get on no no song with nobody for free. People can say, oh, you know, there's plenty of people that can sing better than you. But they can't do it like I do it. They'll be like, oh, there's plenty of people that can rap like you. But they don't do it like I do it. Andrea Jones got something special. I got something special. You know what I'm saying? And I do believe I'm the GOAT. It is what it is. But I'm going to leave that link uh, of that song on these videos or whatever. Because right now me and Marcus is together. And if that's my man, I'm going to always rip for you. You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, I just don't want people trying to use my situation about my kids to fuel their fucking music career. Like, if you not supporting my children if you're not supporting the cause for my children and i ain't never seen you get up on my channel and say nothing in support of my cause then i ain't trying to be promoting your music you know what i'm saying um on my channel that's supposed to be about the cause for me and my children now my music yeah i promote my music because it's my channel you know what i'm saying but i don't want nobody just using my channel to get a name for they self and oh you dog andrea jones out oh that's the nigga that dog andrea jones out no this ain't about no nigga dogging me out this about me putting out information about my pregnancy and about my son being taken away from me illegally that's what this shit is about this ain't about no Whatever his name, stage name is, cause I don't even know it, but I love him, and I'm going to still uh, leave the link to the video when I get a chance. I'm going to upload the video. I got some shit to do, but um, it's called Feeling Your Vibes, and me and my man is on that song. But if y'all can see the bullshit drama that we done went through, you'll know why my attitude is the way that it is towards him right now. Like, I'm, I'm a loyalty type person. You got to show me loyalty 
you know, in order to really get my love. Like, I can love you, but I ain't going to give you all my love. Like, the second day of his birthday, I was in there. Happy birthday to Boo. Happy birthday to Boo. You know, I'm the sweetest person in the world. But I'm telling you, once you cross me, man, I, this is why, I, like, honestly, deep down, my, my husband, husband is Jehovah. My husband, husband is Jesus Christ. He ain't never talked down on me. Man, my husband ain't never told me I was trash. My husband ain't never called me ugly. Man, my husband done told me I'm the most beautiful woman in the world. Man, my husband done showed me I'm the most beautiful woman in the world. Man, my husband done showed me how talented I am above Mariah Carey and, and Whitney Houston when I ain't smoking and shit. God said Andrea can sing just as good as Mariah and Whitney. And he showed me singing a song by Whitney Houston and I hit all them and I yeah man I was hitting that shit like Whitney and the most high built me he created me he know what I'm capable of and he ain't never gonna call me trash so any nigga that done try to talk bad about me and call me trash on my motherfucking channel my nigga yeah, we still together, but I ain't finna lie to none of my people that watching my video and tell them I'm I'm just all this boohoo ass female that gonna run back to you and it's all good. Nah, we together and we gonna see how it work. We gonna see if it work out, if we can learn to love one another and treat each other with love and kindness and respect. And I think he doing that by asking me to get on the song with him because if I was so fucking trash, why would you even want me to get on the song with you? But I, this ain't about me proving myself to mankind. I ain't got to prove myself to no motherfucking man. When my God created me and my God said it is good, it is great, it is awesome, and I'm in love with everything you got and every and every part of you. And he the one who believed me and fueled me and gave me the confidence that I have. I ain't never met no female as confident as me with all the flaws and bullshit that I'm going through because... The most high, the one who gave it to me. He the one who was raising me when my family didn't. And that's why I'm so confident. And ain't nobody going to take that shit from me. You don't get nowhere in life by believing the bullshit that other people tell you about yourself. You ain't never going to get nowhere like that. Because they're going to always tell you you ain't going to be shit. 